Hey, Cory Gang Fish Fam. <coughs> Guess who's sick again? The heck, man. This is gonna be a blacked out episode. It hasn't gone that bad yet. Minor headache, tested negative for COVID. What's going on, man? It seems like I'm sick all the time. I think out of all the FTR episode, there has been like five times I filmed sick. And that's not including all the other times I've been sick that I wasn't filming. You know, women have monthly periods. My fiance can attest to that. I've always told her that I wanted to experience it with her, take half her pain with me so that miraculously she can feel less pain. Well, I got what I was asking for, I guess. I'm sick every month. It's my version of a period even though it's nothing close to as bad as an actual period i'm doing my part as a soldier <sighs> honey lemon ginger if you haven't drank this life-saving elixir when you're sick you're missing out so as you can see this episode is going to be ftr in dark mode it's nighttime my lights are off let's finally get this thing fish tanker you filming already <laughs> I'm too sick for this. This happened in a bass pro shop and we all know that some of the fish in there are just questionable and a lot of them have just like spinal diseases for some reason or other. Probably not big enough enclosure. However, despite bass pro shop being like that, no one, no establishment should be victimized like this by these idiots. Bro did not even have the decency to take off his shoes before getting in there. It reminds me of the time when I was swimming in my local swimming pool and I like to go down there with my goggles like I'm swimming in the coral reef and I see some person wearing their shoes in the pool. Dirty, raggedy looking runners. Thinking back now, I think she was on some hard drugs. I also at one point saw like poop just like floating by. Where the heck did I used to swim? What kind of, maybe that's why I'm sick every month. It destroyed my immune system for life. Bad damn swimming pool. Bro should have looked down at his own shirt. Sir, this is a Wendy's. What are you doing? And this isn't the Wendy's dumpster. This guy is so accustomed to dumpster diving that if there's something that remotely even resembles a dumpster, he's jumping right in. Little did he know this time, it wasn't a dumpster behind a fast food restaurant, but it was a fish tank. This guy's walking right back out of the jail cell. What we can hope for realistically is that they put some kind of demerit on this guy's criminal record so that whatever employer is trying to employ him looks at it and has second thoughts. And the good news here for the fish is that it's probably not gonna harm them. They could have jumped out of the tank if they were spooked. That is a very real thing that might cause them harm and even death. Jumping in bass pro shops, aquariums has become a trend amongst the fishing YouTuber country boy community. If you search it on YouTube, there's hundreds of results. I didn't even know there were hundreds of Bass Pro Shops. Why? We really just can't have nice things as a species. It's truly a shame. Crap like this will eventually force big changes in the entire aquarium industry. Like putting a top on the tank. <laughs> Caught me off guard. How boring does your life have to be to pull off this crap? More like desperate for attention, like a destructive five-year-old. That's exactly it. This thread is enlightening. I get annoyed when someone tries to pretend like they know someone else just by looking at them or interacting with them for like five minutes. Like those beyond cringe, goofy individuals. I've read you like a book. But I think these comments hit the nail on the head with that guy's personality, five-year-old. Hey guys, quick pause to thank the sponsor of this video, you guys for smashing that like button and subscribing. Seriously, I cannot be doing any of this without each and every one of you, especially my patrons on Patreon. They add a level of stability never seen or felt before. YouTube, as you know, gives me heart attacks every day. I'm like, am I gonna be able to live on this planet next month. Yes? No? I don't know. Instant noodles for life. AdSense go but my patrons got me. And not only that, you get perks in return too. Consider becoming a patron today and join the FFT Discord server, where fish keepers all over the globe, almost 2,000 strong, gather. Check it out. Thank you for your consideration. The stunning fish tank is sent in by Trevor Ramon. The carpet of hairgrass is quite nice. It's got some influence from Iwagumi. I love the red accents of the Ludwigia popping out as single strands. And it's a long tank, so it's very good for its inhabitants. All I can see right now is Acrobenses. That is a female. And the male I see now is kind of hiding in the back. Beautiful couple. Hope they spawn for you. Not all male and female crebenses get along. Not all of them spawn just because you put them in a tank. Escape score of 4.6, 2 out of 5. Keep it up. My narrate did work on this rock. <laughs> That's one of the first instances of recognized cave drawings. This narrate eating the algae so hard is eating part of the rock off. It's looking like a Pokemon fossil. Quick, comment below. Which fossil did you pick? Claw fossil or root fossil? Ryan Alive sent in this betta fish tank with a huge Amano shrimp downstairs. At least I think it's an Amano shrimp. Could be a bamboo shrimp. It's the size of the betta fish. But you'd be surprised. My little female betta fish has killed some big Amano shrimp in her time. It's a nice scape. 
we have some artificial decor, but you plant it all over it with some live plants. Cute cozy tank. It could be around five gallons, maybe a bit smaller. That's all right. It looks like your inhabitants are very healthy. 4.21 out of five. Keep it up. What would you do with this? 130 gallon beaker. Is it my cold headache? Can't figure this out. And it's for one dollar. Wait, 130 gallons? What? 130 gallons. So, but so is that a microwave or a fridge? Is that a fridge? <laughs> beside it. That is huge. It looks like a small thing, but it's 130 gallons. 130 gallons? Wow, the perspective is confusing. No kidding. Move to Albuquerque, New Mexico and create a meth empire. Shh. Edible redemption arc. You betcha. From 1.3 gallon to 130 gallon. You could pickle a dwarf in that thing. What? Pickled dwarf is actually a delicacy in ogre society. And in Norway. Yeah, I guess perspective is everything. Can't really even imagine this to be not this big. You imagine that? I wonder my sister can fit in that. This next tank is a saltwater tank sent by Yukai the turtle. It's a 29 gallon, some corals, two pink skunk clowns, whatever that means, snails, and hermit crab. <clears throat> Usually we don't feature much saltwater stuff here, although sometimes in a blue moon it shows up. Like the last eclipse event, there was a saltwater tank on the channel. But whenever these saltwater submissions come up, I always rely on you guys in my comment section to tell me what's up. Usually I just rank purely on aesthetics unless there's something horrible that even I know is horrible, like a tank in anything less than a, I wanna say 50 gallon. I don't see anything here. There's apparently two pink skunk clowns. I don't see them and that's good. I don't like clowns. They scare me. I am gonna rate a four out of five, just purely from aesthetics and how much effort I think it takes to make something like this. Let me know in the comments. All my neons died overnight, damn. And then they became your neon substrate. Truly sorry that happened. Sorry about the joke. Barf ass substrate aside, you have some pretty sick pieces of Anubius. Could have just been an illness. Sometimes things are contagious. Exactly. This is very tricky and if anyone's asking for help in this situation, asking like why did they all die, you're gonna have to provide a step-by-step -step rundown of like the activities within the last month up to the day they died. And exactly how you change your water, exactly what you put in the tank, how much you feed the tank, how many fish there were, and of course all the water parameters, as many as you know. Where you got these neons, but at the end of the day, neon tetras are one of the most infamous fish to just randomly die. They're so inbred, it's crazy. I highly recommend cardinals over neons. They cost a bit more, but at least you don't have to be replacing them every month. However, saying that I still get neons from time to time, I like to punish myself. My body also likes that because it punishes itself every month by being sick. I'm like a neon tetra. Okay, I'm not inbred. <laughs> what is this? Found on a water hyacinth I bought. Well, that's a leech. These guys are supposed to be very resilient. I'd throw them in fire. Yeah, basically the only thing that works to kill these creatures. Don't go easy on them because they will bounce back. Okay, it's a bad day to be a leech. Let me tell you. We got haters up to the wazoo. It's a snail leech. Okay, they suck ass. I thought they sucked snails. Are you telling me they can suck my ass? Where can I get them for scientific research? research purposes. Asking for a friend. I usually rip them out and turn them into plant fertilizer. The leech nightmare continues. Seriously, if you're a leech watching this, uh, F in the chat. All you commenters saying kill it with fire. How? Exactly. I live in an apartment with no fireplace or fire pit. What I saw Tay the guy in a pan? <laughs> Hold a lighter to it till it stops squirming. Oh my, holy, why do we have no animal rights when it comes to leeches? Are they not animals? Wouldn't it produce some kind of awful smell? It would also produce some awful conscience. Salt will kill it. Okay, I'm going to bed. Jack and Tracy will not stop having babies. Damn, look at the color on that Crebensis. It is crazy. I can't believe they're so readily available and freshwater. They're just amazing fish. If you've never had Crebensis pear before, highly recommend it. Go get yourself some. Wow, we got every stage of Crebensis here. These guys really are. You're not joking around. They are wasting no time. What are you feeding them? Libido flakes? Phone plus Ziploc bag plus outdoor pond. Okay, sir, you are a genius. I, how come I've never thought of that? Don't have a underwater camera? Don't have a waterproof phone? Put in a Ziploc bag and voila. What an amazing perspective. Now this is a fish keeper hack. Five out of five idea. How many gallons do you think I can fit on this bad boy? <laughs> oh. 
I need to go to bed. This tank is sent in by Lysander and it's Lysander's dad's fish room or fish corner. Let me just straight up give this fish corner a five out of five. It is crazy. I love these long tanks and your dad seemed to like them as well. This is something I could just spend days in. I'll tent up. I'll pitch a tent right there. Figuratively and literally. What? Let your dad know that the FFT community thoroughly appreciates what he does. <clears throat> I got a bit sidetracked just now. Look at all these big ass Malaysian trumpet snails I just took out of the tank. Jeez, man. These are the big breeding mamas. The egg layers. The overlords from Starcraft. I'm gonna go feed Tamago it. She's eyeing these down. She can see them from all the way over there. She's like, come over here, feed me now. Ram's horns are her favorite, but uh, when you got all these Malaysian trumpet snails, it's fair game. Oh, she's trying to blow water out. She's like, get over here. Okay, BRB. <laughs> Oh, you guys hear that crunch? Yeah, Malaysian trumpet snails are hermaphrodites and they're asexual. They can produce on their own. So even one of them is gonna wreak havoc in your tank. Been keeping freshwater sponges for a while. What? There's a thing as freshwater sponges? That looks crazy amazing. Anyone else knew about this? One of the best parts of the hobby is just discovering things we have not even known existed. Like the other day, I think there was a freshwater flounder that exists. Freshwater jellyfish. Five out of five discovery. Now this is a throwback to the early days of FTR. We covered some of these horrendous places for fish to go in and this is one of the craziest ones. Now my broken collarbone, yeah there's my farmer's tan but it's been a hot summer. <laughs> my broken collarbone will not be able to house any guppies unfortunate. The bone's sticking right out. No chance. Pinterest. Really? Goldfish care. 10 things you should know. Tamago you see that? You're a goldfish, what I tell you? Tamago didn't believe me. Well, here's the proof. Yeah, and people still wonder why you got fish keepers putting goldfish with blood parrot cichlids. I said it before, it's cause they look similar. And some people don't believe that. They're like, people can't be that stupid. <laughs> Ain't no way, p way, greed, lust, shrimp. Envy, sloth. Forgive me, Lord, for I have shrimped. New sin just dropped. I didn't see shrimp in Full Metal Alchemist. Oh. That's Edward. Is this intercourse? Only in a fish keeping community do you ask such a question. Imagine asking that anywhere else. But when it comes to snail intercourse, it's all up to debate. It's up in the air. Reddit 50-50. Stolen from Reddit, but I feel heard. When people ask what kind of fish, when people ask what kind of fish I have in my aquarium, it's about the plants. I feel heard too now. Thank you, Bread. Thank you for helping represent the true fish keepers. It's about the plants. Always has been. Hey yo, thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for sticking around even though your boy is sick this week. I appreciate the support and I appreciate you for being here for me. We had a good time with this episode. Before I let you go though, time to answer this week's cocktail. How often do you get sick? And if you say not that often, what's your secret pal? Is it just genetics? Do I just have faulty genetics? If you enjoyed this episode, please smash that like button and subscribe. There'll be more videos to come and don't forget forget to get your hands wet. That was a very early hand raise. Sick Chris is uh, taking L's. See ya. Tetra, 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 we in a spot coming in hot. Ventral fin die, acclimate that. With my shoal at, cure my fin rot from Carisiformes to Parentra Road on. Hold on, there's not another fish that you can wish for. Lit fam says, I finna one, I finna gone. Three days without fur, I'm an addict, like fanatic. I'm a baddest, no tabs, only dirt. My Cory gang so loyal, black Tetra go skirt. We came to play, came to silence, gang.